The Republican Kaufman has been taking a lot of heat for months now for not holding a public forum. But tonight, he did answer questions from frustrated voters. Sam Bush at the event at CU Medical Center tonight, Stan, got heated at times, but Kaufman knew that going in. He certainly did, Karen. In fact, Kaufman seemed, tried to lay out some ground rules to keep the crowd in check. And the crowd certainly wasn't as rabid as we've seen them in the past, like, say, when that first travel ban was issued. But still, the crowd was fired up and decorum broke down. Anger toward Trump overflowed at Republican Mike Kaufman's town hall to the point where even the congressman began snapping back. Let me ask this question. How many of you have read his disclosure? His financial. Oh, you really have? And so then what is what is in the taxes that's not in the financial disclosure? This was Kaufman's first town hall since leaving through the back door of one in January. In this larger venue, he stayed an extra 45 minutes as the audience roared. What will it take for you to vote with your constituents and not your party? Uh, I think I've won a few elections around here, and so I think the people in the, the majority of the people in this district believe that I'm representing them. Kaufman spoke substance on the VA, cast doubt on the House investigation into Trump's Russian ties, and defended his support of the failed health care overhaul. And he broke with Trump over his budget, but took offense from crowd members who accused him of not standing up to the president, which was a campaign promise Kaufman made. When I disagree with the president, I will speak out with the president, but I'm not going to do it every other day. I Kaufman dismissing many angry crowd members as hyperpartisan. Look, I think... Those of you on the extreme left will never be satisfied until Trump is gone. Most of those questions did focus on Trump, but Kaufman weighed in on Trump's administration staff, saying Press Secretary Sean Spicer should step down after his gaffe about the Holocaust. We're live tonight in Aurora. Stan Bush, CBS 4 News. Thank you.